11 from Cape Coral to California. People across the country are reporting mysterious lights in the night sky. All right, take a look. Some people say they look like fireballs. A Cape Coral family saw our newscast at noon about these lights in California on New Year's Eve and almost jumped off their couch. They say they saw the exact same thing at their house last night. NBC2's Alex DeArmas picks up our story. It was a normal Sunday night for this Cape Coral family until in the night sky. Big red orange light. Right behind that was another one. And then right behind that was another one. Roxanne Hoffman says she saw something similar to this. This is video from California on New Year's Eve. Like a reddish orange, almost like a fireball, but you just didn't see any flames. She says the lights came from the north. Neither she nor her mother-in-law heard a thing. Just like they're following each other. Just like it would be two people following each other, right? And it was weird. They say the lights then got behind a large cloud and disappeared. It was weird. It was really, really weird. NBC2 discovered the National UFO Reporting Center took 200 calls in two days, all reporting orange, reddish lights in the sky. Clearly, the reports that have come in here during the last 40 hours have virtually nothing to do with fireworks. The director of the center, Peter Davenport, says in the past 19 months, he's gotten over 5,000 similar calls. And they seem to defy any similarity to terrestrial aircraft. We just don't know what they are. Davenport says a small percentage of these cases can be Chinese lanterns or hot air balloons, but he isn't convinced they all are. At least we feel we're not seeing things, you know, and it's been seen somewhere else. While the mystery still remains, Hoffman says she's keeping an eye out. In Cape Coral, Alex DeArmas, NBC2. In San Antonio, well, there have been a couple of different sightings or alleged sightings on two different days this week. And Robert Price joins us live to explain what the witnesses think they saw and what the experts think. Robert? Well, Randy, it was a night just like tonight, Sunday and Monday on the west side and near Leon Valley. Several neighbors reported seeing something strange up in the sky. What's that? It looked weird. Irene Trujillo watched in disbelief from her front yard near Castroville Road. When I saw them, I was looking right here. She grabbed her phone. Her neighbor grabbed his camera. I was just like, oh my God, I was just snapping pictures. Take a look. Bright lights hovering in the sky. It wasn't a helicopter. It wasn't an airplane. It was just three lights. A day later, miles away near Leon Valley, Sheila Terrell also noticed something strange. Uh-oh, I got something going on here. I better capture this. Bright, colorful lights streaking through the sky. You see how it looked like it's moving though too? That's the thing. They weren't like going real, real fast. And now it looks like a whole sky full of them. Both women have the same reaction. I thought it was a UFO. That UFOs are communicating. Not just like unidentified flying objects, like UFOs, UFOs from another planet. Irene says she's a true believer. There is some kind of life out there <laughs> that for some reason they were coming by. Sheila, however, is slightly worried. I think it's a scary situation when you got things flying in the sky you can't explain. Scary, but it was awesome too at the same time because you're like seeing something, you know, not knowing are you going to get zapped. I still haven't figured it out. A representative for Joint Base San Antonio says it wasn't any of their aircraft. In fact, they add, it most likely wasn't an aircraft at all. If it was, that's cool. And if it wasn't, oh well. Robert Price, News 4 San Antonio. So what does the Air Force think these lights really are? Well, a strong possibility are these. They're called Chinese sky lanterns, basically small hot air balloons made of paper filled with tiny candles. The truth, though, is out there. Reporting live, Robert Price, News 4, San Antonio. Something strange was spotted in the sky above Pike County Tuesday. At this point, there's still no explanation as to what it was, and people are left wondering what's flying <laughs> over their heads. LEX 18's Adam Weiner has more. These images, snapped by Alan Epling, has the man stumped. And that's saying something coming from a longtime amateur astronomer. I know a satellite when I see it. I track satellites with my ham radio and the telescope. But this object is like nothing he's ever seen. We were just sitting around talking, and uh, she said, there's a strange airplane in the sky. So Epling went to take a closer look. Like you had a giant mirror in the sky reflecting sunlight. And he saw something very different. And so I thought, well... 
there's a shiny helicopter or plane hovering up there. I'm going to look at it. I got my binoculars out, and when I looked through the binoculars, I was stunned. <laughs> this was no helicopter, and this was no plane. And uh, in fact, this is what I saw. For two and a half hours, he watched and photographed this object as it hung in the air until eventually it disappeared. And he wasn't alone. Police say they received numerous calls, and Epling found other observers online. You, you asked me if I think it's an earthly origin. All that's left to ask, what is it? <laughs> I think so, yes. By definition, it remains an unidentified flying object. And it's still, it's still a UFO until it's identified. Covering the news in Pike County, Adam Weiner, LEX 18 News. Alan Epling and the local newspaper made calls to the Air Force and to local airports. So far, no one has claimed responsibility for the mysterious object. I wonder what it was. Dit zijn beelden gemaakt vanuit de hoogbouw aan de Merolaan in Maasluis. Afgelopen vrijdag vijf voor half drie. Vastgelegd door bewoner Dick Smits met deze kleine camera. Ik was hier die boot hier rechts aan het filmen, heel veel bedrijvigheid. En in mijn linker oh, zie ik ineens iets aankomen. En dat was er volgens mij al een tijdje, maar, want ik had het nog niet zo in de gaten. Ik denk, dat is wel interessant, ik ga dat eens even opnemen. Maar wat is het? Ook broer Rob komt de beelden bekijken. Maar en, ja, op uh, slow motion uh, zag ik volgens mij nog meerdere objecten en een schoot iets vanaf de tweede kraan. Uh, van links naar rechts keihard omhoog. Dat moet ik eigenlijk even aanwijzen. Bij het UFO-meldpunt Nederland zijn nog nauwelijks meldingen over dit object binnengekomen. Terwijl het vrijdag 11 april toch ruim een kwartier boven de omgeving Briele Ouddorp heeft gehangen. Het is uh, moeilijk te zeggen wat het is geweest. Maar ja, het zou een UFO kunnen zijn. Gelooft u erin in buitenaardse leven? Ja, ik geloof er wel in. Ik denk uh, dat er wel meer is, ja. Want dit is maar een klein planeetje, al kijk je zo in het hele al. En je ziet alles zo, die sterren, noem maar op. Dan uh, denk je toch wel, uh, ja, er moet wel meer zijn. It's a question for the ages. Are we alone in the universe? Believe it or not, we've actually been asked a lot to find out the answer. And a man who shared his experience with us three years ago is now sharing it with the nation. Will Whitson is live in Myrtle Beach to share our own experiences with the supernatural Will. Well, we get a lot of calls to investigate stories, guys, and sometimes those stories, well, they happen up there. It's almost a cultural phenomenon for odd happenings to be in South Carolina and North Carolina, and when people experience it, they call us to share. We're taking phone calls, we're answering emails, looking at Facebook. Any type of concern the community has, we like to answer them as well. Sometimes those concerns deal with something literally out of this world. All the tourists are in town, they got their cameras, they're seeing these lights out over the ocean, and it just sort of, you know, can grow to be something pretty big. I've seen some of the orange lights that people call in and, um, and claim that they have video up. No, not that kind. Something more like this. Local business owner and pilot Gary Travis shot video of it three years ago. Our interview with him went viral online, and now he's being featured on a National Science Channel program. I'm not going to be a guy that tells you I think they're alien spacecraft, and I don't have any guy proof of that. You know, it'd be fun to think something like that might happen. About five to ten feet above the two-story building or home was two bright lights that showed up. Check this out. The National UFO Reporting Center keeps a database of reports in every state. There are almost 1,200 reports in South Carolina, many from right here in the Grand Strand. All of a sudden, the emails we get, the phone calls, the Facebook messages, they all really increase. Even members of our own WMBF News family have had an encounter. And we all kind of got up, followed her out to the street, and saw this bright orange light. UFOs aren't the only weird happenings in the Grand Strand. Some phenomenon have been here for generations. The big one we hear about all the time is the uh, Seneca booms. My theory was maybe somebody's propane tank exploded. If you search hard enough, you may find a logical explanation. Probably the most common thing that we see around here um, is what's called chaff, which is basically a little, uh, little bits of metal particles that uh, military aircraft drop. But after an encounter, you may want to believe there's something bigger out there. The universe is remarkable, and it's infinite. Maybe we'll see a little sighting here over Myrtle Beach, over the Atlantic, and we'll be able to be live local late breaking on the scene then, too. 
when I asked Travis about his experience on the uh, Science Channel TV show, he said he was happy to share that experience. He says he thinks there are more people out there that have had these encounters with supernatural phenomenon, and he thinks they should speak up. Live in Myrtle Beach, Will Whitson, WMBF News. Thank you.